So, hello everybody. Um, yeah, so in these crazy times, we decided to take a dip in the water of making online classes and online videos for you guys. Who knows how long this um, uncomfortable, unfortunate situation is going to take. Um, therefore, we are trying to find a way where we can still still serve you with our yoga classes. Um, so this class is going to be in English. It's a 20 minutes long uh, free class. And um, I was feeling the urge to do this video for the first because I wanted to have a video about <laughs> calming your anxiety. This is the team and I think this is what we need the most at the moment with this overwhelming amount of information, overwhelming um, life changes, what we have to adjust now and social distancing, etc. So um, I think it's really important that we still stay grounded in the moment and do not let anxiety take over our feelings. And um, so for this class, I'm aware that probably you're, you don't have blogs, uh, posters like we have at the studio at home. So the only thing you're going to need for this class is a blanket. Um, uh, if possible, that's not like the blanket what you put on your bed, but not like a couch type of blanket. And um, yeah, so this is what we're going to use as a pillow. And uh, when it comes to calming anxiety, brief exercises are really, really helpful. So this class is going to have a combination of movements and breath exercises. Uh, so then let's start. You can come into a comfortable position. Uh, please feel free to sit on something. You can take this blanket or you can take a pillow um, just to elevate your hips a little bit. Then it just becomes a little bit more comfortable to sit. And uh, try to find here a straight spine. So just Move your shoulders up to your ears, back and down. Do it two more times. Big inhale, bring the shoulders forward and up. Lift the top of your head. Exhale, bring them back and down. One more time, big inhale. Bring them back and down. And just really try to elongate your spine here, lifting the top of your head. And place your palms on your legs. Your palms are facing down and you can bring here the index finger and your thumb together. That symbolizes connecting the universe to your ego. And just take a couple of breaths here and let just allow your breath to be flowing in and out through your nose. And slowly let your breath calm down. Try to deepen this breath, deep down into your belly, creating more space. With your inhalation, feel the lightness of your body here. And as you exhale, let your body sink toward the earth, feeling grounded. Two more breaths. And then slowly you start to deepen your inhalation and allow your exhalations to be a little bit shorter, go with ease, like side it out a little bit. Big inhale for five, four, three, two, one, and just let it out. Keep breathing through your nose. Two more. And 
and just let your breath be flowing again in and out. Think about your breath as a big wave of energy coming and going. When it comes to you, it brings you the energy filling up every cell in your body. And as it leaves with your exhalation, it takes away all the old, all the tired, all the stress. And slowly keep your eyes still closed and bring your head forward, chin over the chest. And you gently start to move from shoulder to shoulder, doing like a half circle. Take a big inhalation when you arrive above a shoulder. Exhale, bring your head forward. Inhale, come on the other side. Try to follow your breath here. We have two more for both sides. Last one. And then you're gonna bring your head forward again, chin on the chest. Inhale, lift up, and then slowly you can open your eyes. Here, we're going to continue with a big inhalation. Lift your arms up above your head. Exhale, put your hands in prayer in front of your heart. Big exhale. Inhale, lift your arms up. You can gaze up on the ceiling. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. One last time, big inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. So now you're going to come forward, put your blanket aside, and find your way into tabletop position. So you're going to bring the knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. And then slowly here, with your next inhalation, you're going to straighten the right leg towards the wall behind you. Press your hands. Tuck in your belly button. Try to find a straight line here. And then as you exhale, slowly pull the right knee forward and then take a big step forward next to your right hand, yeah, on the floor. And then here, we're gonna start to do circles. So as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hips forward. As you inhale, bring them a little bit back. Depending how flexible you are with the hips, you can come completely black, back as well, straightening the front leg before you come forward again. Try to focus on your exhalations when you have your hips forward. We have two more rounds. And then you find your way again, forward. So from here, slowly, you're going to press your hands again so you find your balance on your left leg, on, on the palms, and you're going to straighten the right leg back again towards the wall behind you. Take a big inhale. Exhalation, you're going to pull the knee under your chest and take a step forward, and this time in between your hands. Slowly, you're going to press the left palm, and you're going to move the right hand towards the back. Inhale, open up. If you're pregnant, you can let your hip open a little deeper so you do not have any push on your belly. Exhale, slowly look down again on the mat, close the movement. Inhale, open up. Exhale, close. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. So from here, you're going to slowly put the leg back, take a step back with your knees, 
Open your knees here, bring the big toes together and then slowly sit on your heels. You can gently press your elbows, lifting up your hands, pressing your palms together here. Let your head rest on the mat. We have here four more deep breaths. You can just close your eyes. And slowly you're coming back up. Put your palms down, move the knees back under your hips. And again, you start to activate your shoulders, finding a straight upper body here. And when you feel ready, you're gonna straighten the left leg towards the wall behind you. Here again, stuck in your belly button, except when you're pregnant, then just let it be comfortable in your belly. Take a big inhalation. And with your next exhalation, you're going to pull the left knee towards the left elbow. Again, take a big step forward next to your left hand. If you need to, you can take a step forward. And then we start with circles. You can allow here as well the circles to slowly grow bigger. Like in the beginning, you can just move little circles and then allowing the circles to be slowly bigger, maybe straightening the left leg next to you. Inhale, you're moving back. Exhale, let the hips sink forward. Two more rounds. And then find your way back again into center. Press your palms, straighten the leg. Again, behind you, make your upper body long, gently pushing the top of your head forward, big inhale. Exhale, slowly take a big step forward in between your hands. Again, pregnancy safety, you can let your hips open a little more if you are opening. So we start to move the left arm towards the wall behind you. Open up your chest, big inhale. Exhale, side it out, bring the hand down. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Plant your hands. Go back slowly into child's pose here. Sit on your heels. Let your forehead rest. This time, keep your palms on the mat. Two more breaths here and mentally prepare to come up into downward facing dog. Just go slowly. With your next inhalation, you're going to gently lift your upper body, tuck your toes, and then from here, lift the knees up. Slowly, you're moving your weight towards your heels. Keep your arms strong, pressing your fingertips into the mat. And then here, gently, you can just bend and straighten the legs. If you find it hard to straighten both legs, you can completely keep the legs really bent. That's okay. You would like to have here a long, straight upper body. If you're pushing one heel down, feel free just to stay there for a big, long exhalation. Help your muscles to release. Wonderful. So from here, try to straighten both legs as good as you can. You can keep them a little bit bent or straighten them completely. And we're going to stay here in an actively pressing downward facing dog for three deep breaths. Activate your fingertips, pull the shoulders back from your ears, pressing against your mat. Suck in your belly button unless you're pregnant. Keep your head, head 
So hopefully you just have one. Keep your head in between your arms. And you can even close your eyes. And just really, really give your full body, the whole experience to your breath. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You're gonna walk your legs forward in between your hands. You can keep your feet hip width apart. When you're pregnant, you might want to have a little wider space so you, your belly has enough space in between your legs. And you can also just gently bend the knees here. That's completely fine. You would like to look like here, like closed book not like a U letter. So if you feel that you're far away from your thighs, bend the knees, let your upper body rest on your legs and let the top of your head just sink down. If you can reach the floor, you can just let your hands be heavy on the mat. If you need to, you can also just grab the elbows if you are a little higher. That also gives a little extra weight pulling you down. Here again, focus on your exhalations. And then slowly find your fingertips on the floor again. Slowly gonna bend the knees, look forward, make your spine long, like somebody's pulling the top of your head forward. And then from here, you're gonna move your hands back up next to your hips here just interlace your fingers slowly you're gonna lift your hands up and then as you exhale just let your hands sink forward maybe you can have here a little quicks in between your shoulder blades you do not stay too long here just three more big breaths in forward fold it's always very nice to keep your inhalations Completely automatic and big, long exhalations help to release. Inhale, slowly find your fingertips back on the mat. Make your spine long, bend the knees. Exhale, we are going back down into downward facing dog. Now that you have a bit more space for your chest, focus a little bit on your inhalations. Big, big, big inhale. Big, big, big exhale. Wonderful. Slowly, we're going to stand up so you can all walk your hands to your feet or you can walk your feet to your hands, whatever is more comfortable for you. And stay here for a moment. We have been folding forward quite a lot. So just take a moment here till everything goes back into place and you do not feel uh, dizzy. So we're gonna have here like a big, big, big inhalation, just like in the beginning of the class, big inhale. Exhale, bring your palms together and your feet together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms together. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Wonderful. If you're still feeling a little bit dizzy, you can continue this movement. Otherwise, please take step now a little bit wider than your hips. And now the exercise comes to really release the stress. Everything that came up within these last few days, we are just trying to let it go. So when you're pregnant, you do not want to have a break in between your breaths. Like you do not hold your breath. That's not really good for the little one. So we're going to do this exercise really fluidly. So it goes as you inhale, lift your arms up and then let it sink down. Slowly exhale. Big inhale, arms up. And now you're going to bend the knees and just side it out. You can go as loud as you would like to during the exercise, especially if you are alone, neighbors, I don't know. You can 
really scare the neighbors <laughs> if you want to. So we're gonna do 10 of these. Big inhale, arms down. Inhale. <sighs> If it feels fine for you, you can completely close your eyes and just feel the beat of your heart. Try to use your breath to calm your down, to calm your heart down. Slowly let your breath be longer and deeper. And slowly you open your eyes again, find your feet together, take a big, big, big inhalation, lift your arms up above your head, exhale, open your arms, find your way back on the mat, come to tabletop. And then just here, tuck your toes, slowly open your chest, pop your heart forward, Gaze forward gently, press your hands. Exhale slowly, lift your shoulder blades up. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, cat position. Try to move really slowly. Find your way back into tabletop. Now you're going to cross your legs. Take a minute, step forward with your knees so you can sit back on the floor. I'm going to straighten your legs forward and pay attention that you have enough space behind you. And then here you're going to take your blanket. Yeah. Uh, look at how long your upper body is. So you want to have kind of the length of your upper body here. Yeah, for me, yeah, for me, this is kind of the length what I would like to go with. And you're gonna make like a little um, roll, like just roll it up. And just place the roll behind you. You would like later on your head, your neck, and your spine come on your roll so take a look more or less so you do not have to pull it completely down because then your head gonna end up on the floor but rather have like a hand with the part in between your lower back your lower back and your pulses your roll and then here we're gonna take a big inhalation lift the top of your head up inhale arms up Exhale, gently fold forward. If you are pregnant, you might want to open your legs a little bit again for having more space. And you can grab your feet, pull your upper body down. If you are staying higher, you can also just let your hands rest a little bit. And then from here, we're going to slowly move vertebra per vertebra up. Place your hands behind you. And we're slowly gonna come 
on our roll. So we can have a little push against the spine. Pay attention that you have a comfortable position for your head. If you are pregnant, maybe you do not want to lay on your back. That's okay. You can move on your side here. And you can also move your poster here, your row in between your legs. That's like really comfortable if you're pregnant and it doesn't feel good anymore for you or for the baby to lay on your back. If you are on your back, slowly pull your feet together. Open your arms and just let your body rest. You can also place one hand on your belly, your other hand on your heart, trusting that all is going to be fine. Everything is going to be good. It's going to happen just like it has to happen. And if we take care of each other, we can all stay safe. You can stay in this position as long as you need to. Try to deepen your breath here. And when you finish the class, come up, sit with your legs crossed, palms together in front of your heart. Namaste.